are waiting for Dwayne to show up here. He'll be here in just a minute. And we'll have an interview about his case. It's forthcoming here in the Baltimore County Superior Court in Towson, Maryland. So glad you could join us. Chilly out here this morning. You can see the snow. <laughs> Us San Franciscans here, or my, I should say, my San Franciscan. But it is a lovely day. It's cold and brisk, but the sun is out, the skies are clear. At any rate, we're waiting for Dwayne to show up, and he'll be here in just a second. And we'll get started with the live stream talking about his case and how he's trying to get his property back. Um, he was known as Tow Ball Bomber, and uh, uh, I think this was two years ago, and they arrested him for 138 counts of terrorism. And basically, what he was doing was leaving toilet bowls around and around Chicago and then here in Baltimore, and uh, he was known as the Toilet Bowl Bomber. And he's going to be here today to talk to us a little bit. We've got the wind blowing here. Sorry about the shaky camera. We've got a live remote here for you, live streaming. Oh, there we go. Maybe that'll be a little better. Let me tweet out in just a second. Move down here a little bit more into the sun so I can stay warm. Anyway, I've just been in Baltimore a few weeks. Um, I'm going to use your live streamer. I'm going to be covering the uh, East Coast here, Eastern Seaboard, New York, Philly, Baltimore, and uh, Towson, and uh, Washington, D.C. So uh, we're going to step up our live stream here. I found a place to move into an apartment, so I'll be doing that this weekend. Yay! after my little horrible experience in Brooklyn, but things are better now, so we won't talk about that. And uh, we're going to concentrate here on Dwayne's case. He's, he's coming up, as you can see, right around the, the bend here. And we'll talk a little bit about his case. It's rather brisk out here, folks. Oh, I just needed the uh, gloves, that was it. It's all right, I don't mind carrying it. We can go sit in the truck for a little while and get warmed up if you want. There's a magnet here, and I, wanna, I don't want to bring that in court. That's for the end, so. Take the lollipop? No, I'm straight. The gloves are on here. When you hold this metal, the metal uh, monopod here, even though it's got a handle on it, you still end up... I know. Uh, rather brisk out here. Anyway, we're out here, we're talking to Shorty Dwayne Davis, as he likes to be affectionately known as Shorty, a.k.a. the Toilet Bowl Bomber. Yes, How sir. you feeling this morning about your case? I feel good. Hey. I feel so good, I feel guilty. Yeah. <laughs> and I get to be the plaintiff here, I'm not the defendant. Right, right. And that's a big change. Let me go with the, with the sun at you on this direction. There we go. This is where I put Come the toilet right there. Where, whereabouts? Right there. Okay, right at the entrance here, yeah, right? Yeah, right at the entrance. All right. <laughs> we revisiting our past. Nice, nice courthouse building, but they, you know, they got enough, more than enough money for that crap. Right? It's Copper Dome. Right? So, uh, yeah, tell us a little about what's going on today here. Today we're going to court. We're going to trial about me putting the... We're going to trial about James Hammond and Jake Davis and my right to property. Like Dred Scott. I got a right to my property. 
I own that store on Falls Road. I had a lease on that store on Falls Road till 2009. I was locked up in the state of Illinois in 2007. And my son and my landlord took my property, made money with my name, identity theft, credit card theft, income tax evasion and fraud. So I'm taking my son to 